Hello internet and welcome to CodePig. And in this video, we will be going through and solving the legendary Fizzbuzz coding interview problem. I hope you're excited, so let's get started. Welcome back guys. Fizzbuzz is one of those problems that many companies will ask you to see how you approach the problem. It can be solved in many different ways and there is no one perfect solution for it. And that's what makes it so beautiful. The interviewer concentrate more on the approach rather than the solution you provide to them. With that said, let's get into the problem statement which goes something like this. Write a program that outputs the representation of numbers from 1 to n. But for the multiples of 3, it should output fizz instead of the number and for the multiples of 5, output buzz. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5, output fizz buzz. Pretty simple, right? All you need to do in this problem is write a function which takes a number between 1 to n. Then you need to loop through those numbers and if you encounter the number 3 or its multiple, you print fizz. And if you encounter phi or at multiples, you print buzz. And finally, if you encounter the multiples of 3 and phi, you print fizz buzz. Just take some time and see if you can solve it. You can also find the repel link to this problem in the description below. Welcome back guys, I hope you are able to solve it. If not, don't worry. Just think of it as your first step towards success. And don't forget to subscribe because we will be solving a lot of problems like this in the future as well. So here is how I would have solved it. I will first write a function called fizzbuzz and pass iterations as a parameter to it. Next, I'll create a for loop where I loop over the iterations parameter. Note that we are setting the index value to 1 initially. Next, what we do is we create a variable called f for fizz and say i mod 3 is equal to 0 and this returns a boolean value if the value of i is either 3 or its multiple. The same can be done for b as well where b stands for buzz and all I say is b is equal to i mod phi is equal to 0 which means if the value of i is phi or its multiple then it returns a value of true. Now we have reached the tricky part. We say console.log and start to nest ternary operators. I think it's easy if I type it out first and then explain it to you. So all we did was if the value of f that is fizz is true and the value of buzz is true we display fizz buzz on the screen else we display only fizz next we check if buzz is true then we display true else we display only the number that's it that was not bad right we will test our code out for different use cases First, we will do it for the input argument of 1 and we will see 1 on the screen as expected. Next, we will see what happens when we give an input argument of 10. We see that in the place of 3, 5, 9 and 10, we see fizz and buzz respectively. Ok, finally we will step it up to 20 and we will see fizz buzz for the value of 15 as expected. So everything is working okay and that's great. So if you want to be more creative, you can also shorten this by doing something like this. I just copy pasted the code because I don't want you to guys to be bored by seeing me type so slowly. So as you can see here in this function, we start with the index of 0 and we loop over as usual but what happens inside the console log is something special. We are post incrementing the value of i. So, the very first time through the loop, we have the value of 1 instead of the 0. Since 
3 and 5 are odd integers, we can get away by doing something like this. Where we are doing pretty much the same thing as you saw in the previous function, but instead we reduce the number of lines of code. If we now run this, we will see that we get the expected output for fizz buzz, but we are displaying only odd numbers. Just remember one thing, it's not less lines of code that makes you a great programmer, it's understandability and maintainable code. If we take a look at both of these codes, our first approach is easy to maintain and understand even for a junior developer. But the second one although does pretty much the same thing but in less number of lines, it's not easily understandable at first. The interviewers look for easily understandable code and not less lines of code. With that said, we have reached the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, drop a like and leave a comment. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.